I just got off the phone with a reporter, and I would like to tell you how that interview went. If I could spend my days just talking to reporters all day about one of my favorite topics, and that topic being pop culture, I'd have the best job in the world. I already have a great job, but that would be the best job in the world. The reporter was Chris Lindell. The news outlet was IndieWire. And Chris is a film business reporter. How fun is that? Uh, for IndieWire. And he wanted to know my opinion on J.K. Rawlings' Tarnish brand and its impact to the Harry Potter empire. The rewind on J.K. Rowling, June of 2020, at a time when the world was reeling from racial tension and what happened to George Floyd when he was murdered in Minneapolis, she started tweeting about her position on the trans community. She is an ardent, trans, exclusionary, radical feminist. It's an opinion that she has that, based on the backlash, a lot of Harry Potter fans do not share. But J.K. Rowling did one of the most dangerous things that you can do in reputation management. And that's the double down, especially if you're doubling down on an opinion that many people do not share. And when many people, your fan base is appalled by. This makes it difficult for anyone attached to J.K. Rowling or the Harry Potter brand or a new movie coming out where you're investing all this money in the Fantastic Beast franchise. So I discussed the strategy that I think the movie studio and even Universal Studios, the park, the theme park, are taking when it comes to J.K. Rowling, that the strategy is distance. They, When someone doubles down, you are forced into a corner. You, you have to respond in some way. And the response is, in their case, is to distance themselves and to have all the actors come out against her stand. It's not pleasant. But Chris asked a question at the end of the interview, which is the best question any reporter can ask. So if you're dealing with a good reporter, they've asked you this question, which is, do you have anything else to add? And I did, because just prior to my interview, I was speaking with students from the PRSSA, the Public Relations Student Society of America, from Ohio State University. Oh my gosh, the smartest, most articulate group of college students. As an aside, it made me think I wasn't this smart in college. They were smart. I was a little surprised to find out that none of them were Harry Potter fans. They're, they're not of that generation, but they all knew who J.K. Rowling was, and they all knew the stand that she took on the trans community, and that was the problem. They're against the stand.